What's going on guys? This is JB, CEO of Benefit Medical Apparel, and this is... Justin from Benefit Medical Apparel. And this is... Seth, COO of Benefit Medical Apparel. And this is episode one of Veterans Doing Things in Scrubs. We have not decided on that name, so bear with us. <laughs> yeah, we're taking a poll. Like, share, we're, comment, let us know what name would be would be good or not good. For sure. So today, we are going to, first and foremost, we're at Benefit Compound C, which is one of our headquarters. As you can see, it's kind of like our clubhouse. Um, and we are going to do some strength testing in our scrubs. So we're going to go to the gym pretty soon. But first and foremost, um, just a little behind the scenes, this is what we do every day. This is one of our warehouses where we keep a lot of our scrubs. This is where we office out of. Give, give you guys a little sneak peek behind the scenes of what we actually do and um, what we're all about as a company. So without further ado, we are going to head to the gym and see how these bad boys uh, hold up. It's a great idea, JB. Let's do it. So, health and wellness and being fit is a big part of our culture and benefit which is actually part of the reason why we started this company was to promote healthier lifestyles for healthcare professionals. And uh, that's why we designed our scrub after performance gear. Uh, actually, a lot of people don't know this, but part of our product testing and actually finalizing our products and our fabrics and our stitching, whatever it may be with our products, is actually coming to the gym and testing them. Because we figured they could survive in the gym, they're gonna be able to survive a busy shift, like I said. So, that being said, we're gonna hit some more workouts and uh, see how they hold up. Scrubs never fails. So, we designed these scrubs, like I said, after athletic works. Uh, if you don't get too messy on your shift, you can actually come in and your scrubs aren't nasty if you're not contaminated or anything, come get a workout in. Or if you are a little bit messier and you don't have time to change, just uh, go on a jog or something where you're not touching or interacting with gym equipment. But, like I said, you're still breathable and functional, you're gonna get a great workout in. Test them in the gym because we figure if they can hold up in the gym, they're gonna be able to hold up on a busy shift or whatever you're doing, whether it's bending down like this, picking up a patient, just whatever it may be. Uh, so that's why we like to come out here and we like to catch the stitching, um, obviously right here, so it's, you're not gonna blow your pants out. Just really everything about the uniform itself and make sure, like I said, if they can hold up in the gym or a heavy, brutal workout, you're gonna be able to hold up in actual busy shift at work. So.
Leg press, take one. Don't try this at home. This is not really leg press. One more, bro. Come on, one more, bro. Oh, this is a terrible idea. One more, bro. It's actually not bad, though. This is very dangerous. Might uh, have to incorporate that in my next workout. Yeah, I don't recommend that. It's a good stretch. You're going to need a disclaimer on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> For legal purposes. Insert disclaimer below. For legal purposes. This is actually the chest. Live a healthier lifestyle, whether it's eat better, or just even if it's not training to help. But um, what I would encourage, just for health and overall wellness, is just do and find something that fits your specific schedule. So, like if you're a healthcare professional, obviously if you're working 12-hour shifts, your schedule is going to be a little bit different in terms of trying to get to the gym. And then if you throw like kids in there, it's going to be even more difficult. So, but always just find time to do something active. And then um, what I also like to tell people, because diet's a massive part of actually being successful when it comes to getting the goals you want to achieve, is just um, plan and prep ahead of time. Because if you have all your food planned for the rest of the day or the next day coming up and you have it all prepped out, you don't have to think about it. You just wake up, everything's already ready for you and you're ready to go for the day. You take one more decision or one more chain of decisions out of your uh, part of your day. You can focus on other stuff that really matters. But yeah, just um, back to it. Just find something that works for your specific schedule, your lifestyle, um, and I'll obviously go towards what your specific goal is, whether you're trying to put on muscle, you're trying to lose fat, you're trying to um, prep for a show, just whatever it may be. Everybody has different goals. Uh, find a diet plan and a workout plan that's gonna work best for you and fit your lifestyle and your schedule. Okay. Oh, oh, why? <laughs> I, me and my wife were clipping our dog's toenails. I had to hold him down. Hell yeah. He got me a little scratched up. What's the big deal? <laughs> That's your thing. <laughs> So that's it for uh, strength testing or stress testing for our scrubs. Everything held up great, no oh, stitching, yeah. fabric. So like I said, moisture wicking, super breathable. Um, we always love to do it with the new products just to make sure that they can keep up in the gym and they can keep up with your busy shift. That being said, we are headed out of here. Mission accomplished. We're gonna head back to the shop. Peace. See you guys.